Lying on the equator, 600 miles west of Ecuador, the Galapagos Islands are the tips of huge submarine volcanoes. One of the best ways to visit these unique islands is by boat, and ours is the Sulide, which means a gannet. Built in 1901, this converted Danish cargo vessel was our home for a week. Our guide is Juan, who briefs us before each visit. To protect the islands, visitors have to be accompanied by guides and keep to designated trails. The gentle rocky shores are ideal for the sea lion harems and their pups. The marine iguana is the only sea-going lizard in the world. To cope with the high intake of salt in their diet, they expel the salt by sneezing it out through their nostrils. Being cold-blooded, marine iguanas need to raise their temperature by sunbathing. The greater flamingo acquires its pink colour from eating shrimps. The older it gets, and therefore the more shrimps it has eaten, the pinker it becomes. Land iguanas are found on the more arid parts of the central and western islands. Their main food is the fruit and pads of the prickly pear cactus. They have been known to live for more than 60 years. The most famous visitor to the islands was Charles Darwin, aboard HMS Beagle in 1845. Named after him, this centre is a sanctuary for the giant tortoises, after which the Galapagos Islands are named. They were hunted to near extinction. Journeying up into the hills, the climate gets wetter, with a constant mist called the Guara, which transforms the normally arid landscape into a rainforest. This brilliant coloured vermilion flycatcher is attracted to areas where people walking by stir up a feast of insects with their feet. Despite the cramped conditions in the galley, the chef prepared delicious and interesting meals. After dinner, Juan briefs us for the next day. You two diving, two times. Yes. First in champion and then in devil's crown. We're a diving club after all, so we can't come all this way without investigating life beneath the waves. The sea life in the Galapagos is as unique as the life on the islands. The combination of the island's tropical location and the cold but nutritious Humboldt current result in an exceptional mixture of tropical and cold water sea life. Many species are unique to the Galapagos Islands.
This curious creature is a red-lipped batfish. Originally an endemic species to the Galapagos, it has now been found in Peru and Ecuador too. For us, it has been very nice to be able to show you our friendship and also, well, that to have, have you like a, a, a small family here, it thinks that we we really have a good time. Even myself, uh, it's my last week working here, but I really enjoyed it as well. And I'm, I hope that you are really learned about the islands and also enjoyed the islands and that you have enjoyed the service on board the Sully Day. Okay, <laughs> <laughs>